Olga. Are you hiding from me, Olga? No. I called your name and then you disappeared. I thought you were someone else. Oh, are you mad at me? No. What are you doing for New Year's? Hanging out with Anne Marie. That's cool. Why does Dennis keep asking her out? I didn't know that he was. I thought he asked Anne Marie to go and she told him no. She did, but he still bothers her. Well, I didn't know that he was bothering her. I'm sure we'll get the hint and stop. Bye, Errol. Bye. See you next year. So, Anne Marie, if you think we get along really well, why don't you go out with me? It just doesn't make any sense. We've known each other for so long. I think that we'd be so good together. All right. Okay. Yeah, all right. No, I don't want to make you do anything that you don't want to do. Dennis. Hey, Paul, want some? Nothing is going to happen to those guys. Really? Nobody says they saw anything. My parents want to press charges, but we have nobody to testify against them. That sucks. No, Errol, that doesn't suck. What sucks is that Anne-Marie and Olga put them up to it. What? How do you know that? I just do. If they wanted me to leave Anne-Marie alone, all they had to do was tell me. I hate those girls. I hate this whole school. I never forgave myself for not telling Dennis that I had stood by watching as Eric, Victor, and Jimmy beat him up. I just didn't want to be involved. I realized that opening my mouth about anything now was a bad idea. From me telling Alan to leave my party, to just saying something to somebody in passing, it was a good idea to keep my mouth shut about everything. I had been living off the idea that we'd all come from the same school, and somehow that created the bond that existed between all of us at this new one. But after everything that had happened between me and my so-called friends, and then seeing Dennis get beaten up because Anne-Marie and Olga no longer liked him, when just six months earlier they had, it was then that I realized how wrong I'd been. Things would never again be how they were at North Route. There were these punk kids. They started mouthing off to me. They ran away, but I caught up to them and threw them through a window. You threw them through a window? <laughs> yeah! Remember when I threw that fat kid through a window? Oh, yeah! What I did was nothing compared to what he did! This punk was mouthing off to me. We followed him to his house! And I told him to watch his face. He kept it up. He kept saying stuff. So I threw him through the front window of his parents' house. One time, I was playing basketball at View Hope. There was these three kids, and two of them started saying stuff to me. I just took them each, one by one, and threw them through the window of the school! Even the one who wasn't saying anything? Yeah, he was there! You guys just throw people through windows? <laughs> yeah. Have you ever gotten into trouble? That's what got me sent here! When you do something really bad, they punish you by sending you to an even badder school. So when are we going to go out, Dominique? Never. Oh, come on, we're going to go out. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Brian. You know everybody here, right? I don't think I know him. I'm Errol. What? My my name is Errol. I'm Stacy. Did you go to View Hope? No, North Route. Oh, that school sucks. <laughs> <laughs> My brother rented the movie Suburbia from a local video store. This would be the movie that introduced me to punk rock. For some unknown reason, I volunteered to sell chocolate bars for the school. We had to sell them for one dollar, and I remember thinking once the teacher handed me the box, 
selling the chocolates was going to be a huge mistake. Errol, can I buy one off of you? Sure. Give me a candy bar. They're one dollar. For free. No, I can't. Come on. They're not mine. If they were, I'd give you one. You better give me one. I can't. I'm gonna kick your ass so bad after school. I'm gonna kill you. You're dead. Why? I'm gonna kill you. You're so dead. Me and my friends are gonna jump you. I'll buy you one. Slowly it felt like I was settling into something of a groove. The group from North Route had expanded with more guys, and more importantly, more girls. But out of all of us, only Jenna and Brian had become boyfriend and girlfriend. This new kid, Danny Barreto, had been brought into our group by Alan and Brian. Right away, I knew that he would be way more accepted than me. Errol, Errol! Hi, Stacy. Don't you normally take the bus home? Yeah. How come you're walking today? I don't know. I just felt like taking the long way home. Do, do you always walk home? Yeah, I live at the apartments on Harbor, very square. Oh. You want one? I've never smoked before. Try it. I've seen my dad do it a lot, and I've always wanted to try it. It's easy, watch. You don't have to inhale it. Just suck the air into your mouth and blow it out. Okay. See? It's easy. Yeah, it's cool. I feel like I'm in a movie. <laughs>